Stop Motion by Draxonus135. Another day has gone by at the theatre where Juniper Montage worked at, and like every other day, it was... okay. She initially felt like torture working at the place, mostly because one way or another she was reminded of the movie that kick-started her descent to being nothing more than an usher. And then, a few months later, the movie was taken out and people stopped talking about it as extremely as before. They still mentioned it once in a while, but it wasn't the glowing in-your-face praise from before. So now, Juniper rested on her bed, ready to hit the sack. Well, at least tomorrow's a Saturday where I don't have a shift, so I can just take it easy and not worry about it. <sighs> if only things had been different. Maybe I wouldn't have to be an usher that has to deal with the most annoying customers. Juniper stood up and imitated a young girl. Excuse me, miss. Do you know where room four is? Then she turned back to herself. Why, yes, you cute girl. It's the friggin' room behind me. I mean, can't you see the big red number above? Juniper fell on her bed. <sighs> I wish I was allowed to say that. And not just, it's right above me. As if people not seeing the number was common. <sighs> Juniper rolled around and clasped her hands. Oh, I really wish there was some way for me to go back to the movie world. And so she went to sleep. A young Juniper played with some daring do toys when she heard an interesting sound. The girl looked around until she heard it again. Gaining a smile, Juniper dropped the toys and followed the clicking noise, giggling all the way. Eventually, she found the source of the sound on her Uncle Cantazoom's room, where the man was taking pictures of a figure on a desk. <coughs> Juniper laughed and clapped, getting her uncle's attention. Juniper? Cantor chirped as he raised the child. What are you doing here, you little sweetheart? I heard a neat sound, and I wanted to find it. Juniper chirped back. What are you doing, Uncle Candazoom? I'm making a stop-motion flick. It involves figures shaped from plasticine, which are manipulated and then taken a picture to later put it all together as a movie. Candazoom got an idea. Would you like to give it a shot? Juniper excitedly nodded. Cantor promptly adjusted the figure's leg, then leaned Juniper closer to the camera. The girl blinked and pushed the button. Juniper woke up and got off her bed, getting an idea. Maybe, just maybe, that might be the trick. Juniper ran up to a toy chest near the door and opened it to find, amongst other things, plasticine of multiple colours and a miniature desk. She put the objects on the table and separated them before she began working on moulding the figure. First, she took some black and grey plasticine to create a hat for later use. While easier to make than she expected, the shape didn't come out looking like a fedora hat as she hoped, but a witch's hat. Well, now wasn't the time to be picky, she'll have to work with what she's got. Then, she made the actual figure that would serve as the main character using orange plasticine for the body, an array of colours for the clothing and hair. Once finished, the figure resembled a stylized raven-haired human female, wearing a dark green dress with white buttons and black shoes. Now went the final part for the setup. Juniper put the plasticine human on top of the desk and adjusted her limbs to make it look like she was sitting on it. In fact, she kind of looked bored as well. Okay, this definitely looks like it's ready for shooting. Juniper moved the figure's legs, confirming they were flexible enough, before she searched some info about stop motion on her phone. And it does seem I'll be able to make the basic motions, which is more than enough. Once she got the page with info, Juniper opened it as she reached for the camera on her toy chest because she obviously had a camera on her toy chest. 
well, I've got some free time before I go to sleep, so maybe I could... What? 24 frames per second? That's like 2,880 frames just for two minutes! Juniper threw her arms in the air and leaned back. It's gonna take me forever to make a decent animation, let alone a movie. Realizing what she threw, Juniper quickly caught her phone and the camera, letting out a sigh of relief as she went back to the scene. <sighs> well, there's nothing I can do but work with what I've got. I just hope I can make something decent with this. Once she put the stuff down. However, she got an idea. Then again, I could go for the two frames per shot tactic. It wouldn't be as fluid as one frame per shot, but... Juniper hummed and scratched her chin. Okay, let's do that! Juniper grabbed the camera and set it straight in front of the sitting figure. Okay, now to make some variations. Juniper slightly moved the figure's leg up. She lifted it some more. She lifted it again, this time crossing the legs as well. Jeez, this is so slow. I can't believe there are people with enough patience to make a whole movie with this method. Then again, they also have an entire projection chain behind them. So, what do I know? After the long, slow, grueling process of getting the pictures, Juniper sat in front of the computer, editing and putting together the pictures she took into a short video. And judging by her tired eye bags, and just how bright the moon looked outside her window, she had been doing this for a while. And that's it! With several hours spent in molding and photographing and editing, mostly the last two, I managed to make a video. I wonder what it's like this! Juniper quickly checked the time bar. 30 seconds! Woohoo! Juniper stood motionless for a second, then promptly collapsed somehow missing the computer's keyboard. The birds were singing, flowers were blooming, and Juniper Montage was still fast asleep on the computer. That is, until she woke up screaming like a banshee. Touching it with your hair tail doesn't make it okay. A second later, she saw the sun rose high, bringing forth a new day. But what caught her attention the most was that not only was her camera gone, but the computer had been turned off. Oh no, 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 don't tell me I just lost all that footage, not the footage that took me all night to get. But as she reached to try turning on the device, Juniper noticed a sleeve covering her arm. She grabbed it, took it off, and found out it was the sleeve of a long-sleeved jacket. I don't remember wearing one of these while I was working on the video. I mean, Uncle Cantazoom wouldn't have... Juniper quickly connected the dots and bolted straight to her uncle's bedroom, where the man sat himself on his bed while checking his laptop. Oh, Juniper, I see you woke up, Cantor remarked with a friendly tone. Good morning. Juniper scanned the room and slowly approached the man. Good morning, Uncle. Once next to him, Juniper showed him the jacket. I think someone put one of your jackets on me last night. Then she saw the laptop. You don't usually use your laptop so early in the morning. Is something up? Cantor flipped the laptop, revealing Juniper's video playing on a site. The video depicted the figure looking bored for a while, until the witch hat fell down. Curious, the figure grabbed the hat, looked at it, and then put it on before she got on top of the desk and jumped away, the video ending just as a cat was hurt. Uncle Cantazoom, what did you do? I saw the video, thought it had potential, and put it on the site, Cantaz scrolled down, and most who saw it seemed to like it as well. Juniper sat next to her uncle and looked at the comments. It's been so long since I saw something in stop motion. I'm glad the first time I see it again is with something good like this. Silence is golden. That's how the saying goes. And I think this video captures it perfectly. I have no idea what this is supposed to mean, but I feel like it adds a charm to it. 
and the more comments she read, the more Juniper's smile widened, ending with the girl leaning her head against her uncle's shoulder as he brushed her hair. If you ever post a video of mine again without asking me first, I'm selling your jacket. You wouldn't. The duo exchanged looks, laughed, <laughs> and shared a hug. Thank <laughs> you.